Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blogger back again. Alright, so I've shown you in 50 inches, which 50 inches is pretty nice. It's not the best, but it's nice. Bet you want to see a little bit bigger. So, maybe this is a little bit more up your alley. This is 104 inches. Now, mind you, this, from what I can see, does not do widescreen. But hey, it's not bad at all. Bigger than 50 inches. So, so today I'm going to show you a little bit of. Spider-Man. I only recorded disc number one, again just for demonstration purposes, and I'll delete it afterwards. Let's see how she looks. Now mind you, there is a lot of light outside, but this is a very bright light. The projector provides. I want to say it's about 80. I haven't measured it, but that's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. So, sound isn't amazingly loud, although it's not bad close up. So, because of that, I brought my creative Sound Blaster Roar again. So let me connect that for you real quick. Powering this puppy up. Family Phyllis Tadidae, genus Cucutinia. Spins an intricate funnel shaped web whose strands have a tensile strength proportionately equal to the type of high tension wire used to bridge Come on. Go ahead. Are you his father or fire your father? <laughs> What's daddy gonna do? Sue me? What is going on? The next person who talks will fill this course. I kid you not. This grass spider hunts using a set of reflexes. That's not bad at all, is it? Velocity so fast that some researchers believe it almost borders on precognition and early awareness of danger. A spider sense. No, come on. Armed with these DNA fingers, we have now begun what was once thought impossible. Disgusting. Just in that combining the genetic information from all three spiders into these 15 genetically designed so, super spiders. Pins 14. I beg your pardon? What is missing? That's not bad at all. Huh. I guess the researchers are working on that one. On the Eastern Seaboard. Huh? We were talking throughout that one this entire presentation. Let's go talk about how we listen. All right, so that's about it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and put that on pause. And let's go back to the main menu. All right, so something else I wanted to show you. I'm going to go ahead, put my notebook right here. Whoops. Let's go over here to Wydai and Maricast. Alright, so this notebook has Wydai. So let's go ahead and start this puppy up.
No cables coming from this guy to this guy. No cables anywhere, as you can see. This is just a hard drive. M Star Gen 4. I'll click on that and I will click connect. I'll move the notebook away, still in sight. Now I have to enter this key. 4817464 continue All right, now it's connecting. You can see right over here connecting. All right, connected to Intel wireless display. Please stand by. All right, so now what I see on my notebook, I can see on the screen. So, let's go down here. Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blogger back again. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of how to use the Brightlands LS1280 projector. I plugged it in just to see, you know, if everything worked, the, if the light turned on. I have not turned it on, gone into the menu just yet. So I wanted to show you how it sounds and everything. I'll fast forward a little tiny bit. Let change it to That's when I was showing you at about 50 inches. That's pretty nice. Alright, there was a lot less light in that environment than there is right now. But you can still see good stuff there. So that's pretty cool. It has Wi-Fi and Wi-Di. So that's about it. I uh, just wanted to show you that real quick. and. Uh, I see that it's working. Again, Iggy with Dragon Blogger. Bringing the image to one. Like you coming soon to dragonblogger.com. See you guys soon.